Sleep apnea, what it means is pauses in breathing when you sleep. So whenever there is a pause in breathing, the oxygen levels in the body goes down. When there is an oxygen drop, the body reacts to it. So how does it react? The body uh, releases stress hormones. So stress hormones are like your steroids. And we all know that taking steroids, your body weight goes up, you put on weight, your blood pressure goes up, your blood sugar levels go up, your, you have skin changes, bone changes. So the complications of not treating sleep apnea are heart attack, which can happen in 30% of patients with sleep apnea, paralytic stroke, which is three times more common, diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, depression, obesity, uh, impotence. So all these are complications. Now there are studies that, are, uh, that have come up recently which links sleep apnea to renal problems, kidney disorders, even cancer. So these are newer, latest studies. So there are studies which show that people who have diabetes, uncontrolled diabetes with glycated hemoglobin levels over nine, who have been treated for sleep apnea, their glycated hemoglobin levels come down to seven or even less than seven in three to six months. So studies have already proven that. Similarly, obesity. Obesity and sleep apnea is like a vicious circle. Obesity leads to sleep apnea. Obesity is one of the causing uh, factors of sleep apnea. As well as sleep apnea leads to worsening of obesity. One of my patients. The patient has been having symptoms for a long time. Everybody knows uh, he has right-sided heart failure. Nobody looked into the reason why they have, why the patient has right-sided heart failure. Now, sleep study is being done. He has severe sleep apnea. CPAP treatment is being implemented. It is improving. The patient's condition is improving. He is getting better. At least he is able to go up one flight of stairs without uh, getting restless, without getting breathless. Once they start using the machine for a week, they realize what it does to them, what it does to their quality of life. And they'll, they will start using it 90% of the time, they will start using it themselves. After that, it's compliance, regular follow-up. Once they start taking the treatment for sleep apnea, the daytime sleepiness gets better, the quality of life increases, improves, uh, their work efficiency increases, they feel better, they exercise more, and they start losing weight also. I've seen patients start to lose weight, at least they've felt that they're losing weight in just after a week after using the, after taking the treatment. So the, all these factors, they sleep better, the sleep is uninterrupted, insomnia improves, they're, they are fresh in the morning when they wake up. There is no headaches in the morning when they wake up. So all these, some patients complain that they get dreams, a lot of dreams, continuous dreams throughout the night. So those also decrease with the treatment of sleep apnea because sleep apnea is one reason why they get continuous dreams. Innovation and you, Philips.